two married couples, seven kids, and the single moment that shattered it all. Candy Hall, the woman at the center of a twisted love triangle, is under the microscope. These two families were forever changed by the actions of three adults. Her lover, Emmett Corrigan, is dead, and scorned husband Rob Hall is now on trial for murder. And unfortunately, there were so many other paths he could have taken. For a week, salacious secrets spilled out of the courtroom, the defense arguing that Rob Hall was pushed to the brink of madness, a man consumed with jealousy over his wife's affair with her boss. But they claimed he shot in self-defense after an altercation with Emmett. The defense really worked to paint Emmett as an aggressive sort of person who had a temper. The prosecution painted Rob as a man obsessed who hunted down his wife and her lover, first taking aim at Emmett, then turning the gun on himself. One of the pieces of critical evidence for the prosecution was that in Rob Hall's truck, he had been carrying around these printed out emails between him and his wife. And these emails were talking about the affair with Emmett. And so the prosecutor said, he's angry. He went there angry. And then there's the matter of Rob's gun, which ironically was a gift from Candy. The most damning evidence appeared to be the fact that Rob Hall's gun holster was in his center console. And a gun expert that testified said, you don't take your gun out of your holster unless you intend to aim it at somebody or something. What exactly happened during those critical 17 minutes before the shooting is actually a mystery, leaving attorneys to fill in the blanks. So there are these wedges of surveillance tape that are missing that don't show Rob getting out of his car. So we don't know, did he jump out of his car with his gun pulled? We don't know, did he casually get out of his car and walk over? We can't see anything. And neither did anyone else. There was only a single witness to the fatal shooting, Candy Hall. You also have just kind of this incredible eyewitness who didn't actually eyewitness anything, she says. She says being the key point here. In fact, a lot of what Candy said on the stand changed depending on the day. One of many stories she changes was whether or not Rob and Emmett actually had physical contact in the moments before the shooting. She would tell them what they wanted to hear, basically. And as you can hear in this courtroom audio tape, even the judge was at his wit's end. Frankly, uh, any testimony by uh, Ms. Hall, uh, in my 31 years on the bench, I don't think I've seen a witness more thoroughly discredited in the course of a proceeding. The judge said that he's never had somebody change their story so many times. She was lying. Yeah. And to add insult to injury, Ashley, Emmett's wife, was shocked by how lovey-dovey the Halls carried on in court. The two rekindled their failing love after the shooting. What was Candy's demeanor at trial? Her and her husband at the trial were very loving to each other, saying, I'm sorry, I used to love you. Then, after both sides rested, the moment Ashley had been waiting for. I remember the last day walking in as the judge is standing up to announce the verdict. And I thought I was going to have that Beauty and the Beast rooftop, the light shines through you and everything feels whole. And instead, the judge stood up and announced everything. And all I could see was these two mothers, a mother whose son was now going to be in jail for a long time and a mother whose son had been killed. And it like, it tore me apart, realizing that there's other people hurting, probably just as much as me. Now listen to this audio recording as the judge reads the verdict. Has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yeah. And Mr. Hall, if you could please stand. Is Robert Dean Hall guilty or not guilty of second degree murder? Guilty. Guilty of murder in the second degree. But before the sentencing, Emmett's family had scathing words for Rob Hall. The second you took out that gun at the holster, you already knew what you were going to do with it, didn't you? You killed my son. I missed my husband. I need a repeater, and he should be here. Let me tell you about my babies pounding on a casket. <laughs> Their hero's body lying inside, <laughs> screaming for him to wake up. 
and screaming at me because I was the thing telling him that we couldn't open the box. Then it was Rob Hall's turn to speak. The shockwaves beyond that have shattered Emmett's wife, Ashley, and their children. And I'm so sorry. But sorry will never fix the pain he's caused so many people. Hall was sentenced to 30 years in prison. He'll be eligible for parole in 2030, just past his 60th birthday. What would you say if you were able to talk to Candy? You know, I'd probably just tell him that I forgive him because holding on to hate for anybody for me hasn't worked. All it's done is stop me from living. And as for Candy, she was sent to prison, but not for that fatal night. She served 18 months for embezzling from another law firm. So she's made a series of poor decisions. Yeah, I think a lot of people in my story have. But as for Ashley's story, her next chapter is one of incredible strength and courage. The mother of five is now a motivational speaker, has written three books, and as for her kids... What do you tell your kids about their father? They'd come home from school, hey, my friend said he saw on the news this and this and this. And at first, I was tempted to lie. He got in a wreck, everything's gonna be okay. And then I realized that lies are what got us where we were. So now we talk about his good qualities, but we also talk about the choices that he made and how our choices do determine our destiny. And I think for them, it's given them a, a reason to try harder in life and to make good choices and to always put your best foot forward. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.